Good afternoon, YTPC, how are you all doing? Very pleasant afternoon, temperature's gone up around 20, very comfortable, light wind, bit of cloud, but a lovely Sunday. Smoking my aristocrat a Blake Mar pipe, good old English Blake Mar with this lovely uh, walnut ki kind of rustication which I, I really like and it's a, one of the less expensive uh, grades of briar but I've got a couple of three of these in different shapes a nice Dublin one as well great pipes 9mm and in it Today I'm reviewing formally Boswell's Northwoods. Now I have smoked this before last year as well, got through a tin of it, so I'm much more familiar with this um, tobacco. But even so, I've smoked about eight bowls of it now, halfway down the tin. Just put a hit hydration stone in because it was getting a little bit on the dry side. But these Boswell tins actually do hold the moisture very, very well. They've got some special kind of coating which gives them a, a fairly good it's not hermetically sealed but it's a fairly good vapour seal on the tin. Bit of um, Baroque, happy Baroque this stuff is so called on the um, Swiss Classic radio. Knights of Templar lighter of course and uh, doing the honours today is Admiral Lord Nelson. So, oh. Northwoods is legendary as a very popular English blend. Uh, tobacco Reviews 3.5. Now, classically, it's, um, it's Latakia and Red Virginia, Cyprian Latakia, and uh, the spin on this one is it's got black Cavendish in it now. Again, I class anything as uh, Virginia and Latakia as an English blend. And then, of course, we know there are all the variations. You can put Barrique in it, Black Cavendish in it. Some have a, 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 a small amount of topping and so on. Uh, it's, some reviewers have said they're not sure if this has got a bit of topping, but formally, at least according to tobacco reviews it doesn't uh, didn't find anything on the Boswell's website to indicate it had any kind of topping and of course black Cavendish could impart a slight vanilla -y touch to it and certainly the sweetness depending on the nature of the black Cavendish so I think it's if you're picking up some flavor in the sweetness it's from the Black Cavendish. It's uh, there's a hydrostone in there. It's very dark, so there's probably a, fit, a lot of uh, Black Cavendish and a um, fair amount of Latakia. I think the Virginia in this one is actually a little bit in the background, and Black Cavendish is most forward and then followed not far behind is the um, Latakia and that's that's uh, all fitting you know no surprises you open it up 
you pick up the, the Ladakia, you pick up the sweetness from the Black Cavendish, um, and not much from the Red Virginia, in the nose at least. The moisture was pretty well perfect coming out of the, the tin, which is what you expect from Boswell's. So it's then a matter of preference if you want to dry it a bit f further or, or not. I find the Boswell's blends are more or less perfect out of, out of the tin. So it's a, a ribbon cut, a little bit roughish, and, you know, longer and shorter and a couple of clumps in there. So it's not uh, as perfect as a Dunhill ribbon, but it's more or less a ribbon cut. And a quite pleasant room note on the smoke. The smoke note is a little bit of campfire and sweetness. And quite pleasant, I think, for a Latakia blend. Pretty easy to, to pack, a little bit springy, so you might have to tamper it a couple of times to get that flat surface, but um, I usually these days put in three and a half pinches, generous pinches as well. Now the taste, it's a very smooth, silky, creamy, a little woody, a nice toasty taste to it. Very easy, very easy to smoke, very easy to enjoy. Uh, mild on the nick. You couldn't tongue bite yourself if you tried with this, I think. And a relatively cool, cool burn, so it's not going to get hot, even if you've got a thin walled pipe. It's very user friendly, this Northwoods. Very could easily be an all day smoke, as far as I'm concerned. And gentle, and not quite in contrast to Maltese Falcon, which had much more powerful flavours at, 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 at play, this one is very legere, very gentle, uh, suited to a, a green tea, botanic uh, iced tea drink. What would you compare it to uh, in another tobacco? I haven't tried enough English blends to make a fair comparison. Um, I'm sure there's one or two from LJ Peretti and Wilkie that have uh, blends which come close to this one. Did a review last year of four Wilkie blends and some of those were English blends and, um, and this one reminds me a little bit of Crystal Palace. Uh, Crystal Palace was a, one of the few blends in tobacco reviews that got a 4.0 and I did like it myself. But some others have said it's rather like Ashton's um, Artisan Blend or the Wilkie Best Make. I haven't tried either of them so I don't know. But it's a, it's a great English blend to start with. Uh, some have actually said they think it's uh, a crossover and got a bit of molasses in it or, or uh, some topping. I think it just comes from the Black Cavendish and it's not uh, 
technically a crossover or an American blend because there's not been flavouring added. But it's a transient in that it has black Cavendish, which is not perhaps classic in, in an English blend. But I put it in the same bucket for me because of the Latakia and the Virginia. And I think it's a very nice way to up the sweetness and take a bit of the harsh, astringent edges off of the of the woody notes and the earthy and leathery notes, which I'm not that much a fan of. It's definitely a lovely tobacco to enjoy in the springtime. Um, and I think for me the English blends are spring, summer and early autumn, you know, the most suitable. Utterly pleasant. Tobacco Viru's uh, 3.5, something very close as far as I'm concerned, 3.2 I would say, because it, it's slightly, how can I say? Um, it's less standout and Maltese Falcon for example it's got a real power behind it and this one is much more relaxed, much more gentle if it's what you want of course that's perfect you know um, and I could smoke this any time any time and I would definitely keep a couple of three tins of this in the cellar it's a funny kind of after note with um, Latakia, it's not so strong in this one at all, but uh, it's just like a kind of creosote phenolic touch. And if you just get a kiss of that in the Latakia, it can be actually quite pleasant. <laughs> it's just on the edge here, barely detectable. So, some other of course this has been greatly reviewed so you've got plenty of choice to look at other reviews and I do encourage you to do that. Matches 860 talked about it six years ago. Zeke Scout three years ago. London Calling, our only um, Simon there. Uh, he did one four years ago. Derek Tant did one six months ago. Aromatics. Jeff did this uh, two years ago and 2AM on the patio did one two years ago Pipes and Guitars did one two years ago and Boko to Boynton did one a year ago very gentle it's the only criti criticism I would have is, is, is and maybe that's me evolving into liking stronger and stronger blends from my early days when it was all must have mild and low nick and all the rest of it. That it's almost for me a little bit too evened out. But if you want one you can count on, won't bite you, you'll enjoy it. Very pleasant, the room note is good for an English blend, for anyone else who's around, absolutely the one to go for. Okay, today I'm going to keep it short. My next review will be Trafalgar, the Drakea and Sons uh, English blend which uh, also got practically a 3.9 or 4 score on tobacco reviews so that's going to be really interesting looking forward to that very much might be two or three days away before I've done that because I'm starting from scratch that one and I would like to get at least six eight or ten bowls in before I talk about it. Nevertheless, 
This absolutely makes the grade for me to keep in the cellar and have a decent number of tins because it's just so accommodating and so friendly and you know you can always count on it and if you want just a good old English blend no frills and not too much power to it this is this is it very very lovely well you all take care have a lovely Sunday and I'll see you in a couple three days cheers everyone bye bye